Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to download and install our free header and footer combo design made with DV's theme builder. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right. So the first thing you want to do is to head over to this blog post, which I'll link to in the show notes below. Scroll down until you get to this area here, which says download for free, enter your email address, click on download, and then click on download the files. So all these files now will be downloaded here on my computer. So I'm gonna navigate to this folder. So I'm gonna show in Finder, and I'm just gonna double click on this, and here it is. Next, I'm going to uh, open this folder as well. So I'm gonna double click on it. And here is the file. So I'm just going to drag it over here to my other screen. And uh, we're going to bring it back as soon as we are ready. So what we need to do next now is to scroll all the way down to Divi and then click on Theme Builder. Click on Portability and then click on Import. Making sure that these two are checked. Now we just need to add our file that we downloaded earlier on. So all I have to do now is to just drag it and drop it over here and then click on import DV theme builder. Excellent. So now we have uh, added our header and footer. So before we can see what this is going to look like, let's just open this in a new tab so we can see the before and after. So this is what we have so far. This is what you get when you download and install DV for the first time. And when you scroll all the way down here, this is our footer. All right, so what we're going to do now is to click on Save Changes. And this now is going to um, apply the global header and footer that we've just installed. Next, I'm going to come over here and I'm just going to refresh. And now you can see that we have this simplified header and also the footer here on the bottom. All right, so what we're going to do next now is we're going to go in and I can show you how to customize this to uh, make it look like your own header. All right, so back over here on the theme builder, what I need to do now is to click on this pencil icon. It's gonna take us into our global header. All right, so first things first. So over here, you may want to change your logo. So to change it, you're gonna come over here to your menu settings. So in here, there's an option for logo, and you can see this is where we have our lead gen. So if you want to add your own logo, you just have to delete this and add your own image from the media library. So let's go with this one here. I'm going to click upload an image, and you can see that it's been added now on there. You may want to go in and adjust the size by coming over here, clicking on logo, clicking on sizing, and here you can see we have our logo width. So you can increase it here just to make that logo slightly bigger. Once you're happy with that, you can just save. Next, let's take a look and see how we can customize this text. So for that, we can go to our menu text. So let's say you want to change the font itself. You can click over here and perhaps choose Poppins. And there we go. So you can see there is our font. It's been updated. And also, if you want to change the colors, you can always come over here and change your colors. All right, so I'm going to close out of this. Next, let's take a look at our social media follow icons. And here they are. If you want to add more, you can just duplicate an existing one and then uh, click on this gear icon. And then you can click on the drop down and choose uh, whichever one you want to go with. So for example, I've selected uh, YouTube. So what you also need to do is to make sure these are linking. So to add your link, you want to come over here and this is where you would paste your link to your YouTube uh, channel. Okay, once you're happy with that, you can just save and then you want to do the rest. Add your link. It's very important that you do this. Okay, so once you're happy with that, that's pretty much it. Let's say you want to change the colors of these icons. All you have to do is to click on design icon. And uh, this is where you can update your colors. So as you can see, as I'm cycling through these, these colors are changing. Okay, so I'm going to close out of here. And for this email here, you want to click on this uh, text settings. And this is where you can update your email address. Okay, so you can see when I type in there, it's updating in real time. Excellent. I'll close out of here. And now we have 
request a quote. This should be a button. So as you can see, we have our button settings. So now we can go into our text and update this text to, you know, whatever we want. So we can call this download, for example. And as you can see, it's updating. And make sure you add your link over here so that it goes to the actual link that you want to download the item from. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to save that. So pretty much that's all we need to do here. We're not going to add any colors to the background because we want to maintain this minimal design. All right, so once you're happy with that, you can save it. And then the next thing you want to do is to now go to the footer. So over here, similar to what we did on the header, we can go into our settings. And the first thing I'm going to start off with here is the logo. So the logo is an image. So as you can see here, we can just delete this one here and add our own image. So we can just go straight to the library. And this is where we can just add our logo just like that. And you can see it's been replaced, which is fantastic. But I'm not going to commit to that, so I'm going to close out of here. When it comes to the social media icon follow, it's pretty much the same as uh, I showed you uh, when we were taking a look at the header. And same applies for all these text areas. So if you want to change any text, you just want to come over here to your text settings. And uh, this is where you would go in and uh, update it. So for example, here I know it's 2021. So we can just update it like that and save. And then over here, request a quote. This is a button. And again, the changes are pretty much similar uh, as we did uh, on the top there. Now, these links that we have here, uh, let me just show you how to customize one of them. So you want to click here on this gear icon to go into our text settings. And the very first thing you want to do is to make sure you link it. So you can click here on link and add your URL in here. Okay, that's very, very important that you do it that way. Otherwise, these links here won't link anywhere. So you want to do this to each and every one of these. And uh, once everything is updated here, that means you are pretty much ready to go. Over here, we also have these titles. So again, these are text modules. So you can update the customers here. If you want to change the colors, you can just click on design. And um, you can change the font here. So let's say you want to go with Open Sans and uh, maybe change the colors. You can see here the color is changing. Okay. So that is how you change the titles here. Finally, let's take a look at our email opt-in. Now, this is very important because if you don't set this right, then we are going to have a lot of problems. So first things first, you want to scroll down until you get to email account. This is where you need to connect your service provider with your website. So over here, you can click on this drop down and this will um, show you all the service providers here. So there's quite a lot to choose from. You can choose ConvertKit, Aweber and so on. So once you've chosen your service provider, you also need to make sure you add your list. And then once you've uh, selected your list, you just click on add. And then that now connects with your website. Okay, so once that's done, the next step now is to customize your success action. And then over here is you can choose to uh, display a message. So in this case, it has a success by default, but you can uh, add your own message, you know. But if you want to have a specific page, you can do that by clicking here and uh, choosing redirect to custom URL. And then this is where you'd add your custom URL. But make sure you've designed this page ahead of time because if you don't design it ahead of time, then it's going to be quite difficult to, to find it. Or you can just copy the URL and paste it in here. Okay, so let's say our page is this about us. So let's just pretend that that's our thank you page. So what you would do is just to copy the URL and then come over here and this is where you'd paste it. Okay. So as soon as they hit subscribe, they are going to be redirected to this. But usually it needs to be a thank you page. Okay, so that is how you update it. Now, as I mentioned before, we're not going to go in and uh, change any background colors. But if you needed to, this is where you would do it. I'll click on the section settings. And then over here on my background, I can just uh, start adding my colors like that. Okay. All right, so uh, pretty much once you're happy with all your changes, all you have to do is save. But you know what? We are not going to save this for now. So I'm just going to discard and exit. Now let's take a look at 
our design. So as you can see here on the top, this is our main header. And then when I scroll down all the way to the bottom here, this is now our footer. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.